Good afternoon, everyone. Hurricanes are on the decline, so they need to redefine them so there'll be more hurricanes. It's been 11 straight years without a major hurricane striking the U.S., and that hasn't happened since the 1860s. Add into this Mount Washington, eh, they can just change any values that they want without explaining why. Weather Network, mini ice age, not going to have any effect on our planet this time. They map out the solar cycle. But when we look at Cicelo here, you can see that the low is going to come in 2018. They're off by about two years anyway. Intertropical convergence zone pushing. So hurricanes and typhoons are not forming in the same spots. Would explain the lack of hurricanes this year. Clouds are moving across the planet in the last 15 years. Easily discernible. Maunder minimum, a third of the population of Europe perished. But nothing's going to happen this time. So keep buying your stuff and uh, watching TV. Please subscribe to Adapt 2030. Climate alarmists now want to redefine hurricanes because there's so few of them that they now need to just make it up so that it'll seem that there's extreme weather going on. It's been 11 straight years without major hurricane landing in the United States. This takes us back to the pattern in the 1860s. That's the last time that they had this lack of hurricanes. So now they come out and say, well, we're not measuring it correctly any longer that we need to redefine it. So that last 140 years of the way we measure hurricanes doesn't, it's not valid anymore because they're not destructive enough and it's not fitting the global warming model. So we just need to redefine it. They're actually trying to bury the hurricane record as to show a warming pattern. A couple other nice articles here from Technocracy, London School of Economics, fraud on the global warming, Russian scientists saying we're having a mini ice age coming, it's gonna be severe and affect society. Changing data, Mount Washington, they're just able to change values right now any way they want without explaining why. Weather Network, admit the mini ice age is coming, but they say it'll have no effect. They show you the solar projections here, rolling out to 2035 or so, but they don't even have it correct on the beginning point. They show 2020, but the bottom of this solar cycle is going to be at late 2017. We've studied sunspots in history for about 400 years, and you see the Maunder minimum and the Dalton minimum. That's when drastic changes came to society, and we're about to repeat another one of those right now. As the sun's magnetic shield affects the Earth's magnetosphere, our atmosphere is penetrated by galactic cosmic rays, which increase cloud cover globally. You see the changes in just the last 15 years. This would explain why Australia is the wettest in 116 years. It's repeating the same pattern. Going back into the 1600s, the Thames froze. There were ice and frost fairs. Glaciers advanced across Europe and North America. Now we're seeing the Southern Ocean temperatures dropping, which they never add into the global surface maps because it would bring the temperature down. Intertropical convergence zones also push into different locations when these clouds change. Hence the reason for the lack of hurricanes. We're repeating another pattern. Looking at the butterfly sunspot count, I put the red box there over on the left. That's back in the 1860s. And where we're going is even lower than that coming up in this next solar cycle. Dr. Abudzimov at Pokovo Observatory showing the true run out on the sunspot count and the effects that are going to happen. Cislo again of just cycle 24 here. Straight down. Late 2017 is when we hit the bottom. Spanish scientists also putting the mini ice age bottom at 2031. Every time one of these things come by, drastic effects on society. Chinese dynasties collapsed every single grand solar minimum. There's reconstruction maps to show you where the temperatures are going to drop and the effects. Notice Alaska's warmer during a grand solar minimum. Look for gargantuan cooling in the northeast United States this year. Ice storms, blizzards, it's coming, especially all across the prairies in Canada, Alberta, and the very reason I started my video channel, the last two grand solar minimums, we know the populations of this planet declined drastically. This is the 1600s Maunder minimum. 25% of people perished. Disease and starvation. This is a list of famines in Europe. And it's pure negligence for the Weather Network to come out and say there'll be absolutely no effect. 
How many people are not going to prepare because of this single story? Whether network channel producers, you are responsible for their lives. And as always, when we get into these cooling periods, specifically La Nina going to cool the Pacific right now, crop prices are going to increase. And here we go from now on, food price rises up, 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 up. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. You definitely need to know how to grow your own food and prepare for this. The intensification is coming this year. And with all these crop losses, you're going to want to jump over to Trade Genius. Talk to Bob about how they're trading on the grand solar minimum. They see the exact same effects and the exact same patterns that I see. And they know which reasons you're going to decline and when. And please remember to press that subscribe button and I'll keep more research information like this coming to you.